Within the last few years, Slack have released their workflow automations. Now, I didn't think too much of it at first. Over time, I've realized how powerful it can actually make you in your day to day. One thing to note about automations in Slack, you do need to be on the paid plan to use it. So if you're not on the paid plan, you'll be able to see the automations, but you won't be actually able to enable them. So on the left hand side, I've got it on my menu bar. If you don't, you can click on more and it'll come up here. You just click on automations and you'll be presented with this screen here. So you can search for workflows. Now I've got a couple in here uh, that will just are for my team. So touching base with my team, but let's jump right in. So we're going to click on create a workflow. Now it's going to bring up this little builder here. It's super simple to start off and it's actually one of the most simple no code automation builders that I've used. We're going to go start from scratch and we're going to build an actual automation that I will use. So specifically for me, I'm trying to build my Twitter presence. So I'm going to set up a scheduled reminder every day to write a tweet. So super simple, but I'm going to have it in a specific place that will remind me to write my tweets. So on a schedule and we, that's, so that's what's actually going to trigger the workflow. And then on a certain date, we're going to have it every day. So frequency is daily. Actually, we'll do it every weekday, Monday through Friday. And then it's going to start tomorrow at 8 a.m. on Melbourne time. We're going to press continue. And then what we can do, we've got all of these different integrations here on the right hand side. Now, for me, it's going to be super simple. It's just going to be a message to a channel. We just click and drag. I'm going to use my example channel here, which is links to tools. And then I'm going to add a message saying 100 reminder, write a tweet x.com so I can be directed there as soon as I see it. Now what I'm going to do, I can look at gamifying this so that when I actually do complete it, it checks off a little reward to help me try and build the habit. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to add a button on here so I can press edit and then include a button saying done. And what then it will do is we can add another step, which is gonna send me a message, which I'm gonna say, congrats, one point, and then at the end of the week, I can tally these up. So again, this is just a really super simple automation. However, you can do a bunch of things in here as well. So if you use any of the platforms on the right-hand side here, example, Calendly, you can get a new meeting link, or DocuSign, you can create an envelope to send a contract, or even just Google Sheets, updating sheets from your workflows allows you just to track things and increase your level of automation that's taking away work from you specifically. Now, Slack doesn't charge per workflow execution, which I think is actually really cool. And they don't charge anything additional for this automation, whereas some companies click up that kind of thing will charge per workflow, which is just, I think it's really cool of Slack. They've kept it all inclusive. Mind you, Slack in terms of platforms per user is quite high. So it is, you're already paying a premium for the product. But if you thought this was helpful, let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything in particular that you would like to see, uh, you can comment that below as well. If you are looking for someone to jump into your business, pull it apart and see where your inefficiencies are and automate it, uh, you can contact me through the links below as well. And I can jump in and have a look. Bye.